What's better than having a border collie love in the morning? Yeah. Who's a pretty girl? Who's a pretty girl? Hey, who's a pretty girl? A little bit of light rain falling, so it's not quite as hot as what it was yesterday morning. But uh, a beautiful, beautiful place to be. Down here in northern New South Wales in the ranges. Hey, pretty special, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go and see what the traps have caught us overnight, eh? We'll head out here to the, uh, the big tree and uh, see what's there for a start. Right, all quiet. Busy body. Okay, cattle kick this one out again. Just cattle tracks. Uh, that did look like a dog there, but I don't think so. Cattle. Unfortunately, this is the problem we face. Uh, we caught that dog straight away, and this was an exposed set. This was like right out in the open, on the edge of a bank, uh, like what I thought would be a great little place to um, to trap. Chancy actually marked on the tussock, put it in there straight away, first night got a dog. But because of the scent that that's been left on the ground of that dog being caught, the cattle are just plaguing it and there's no way I can guard it. That's a problem because uh, this would be the trap that I, if there's other dogs in the area, you'd catch a second or a third dog easy, but can't do it because the cattle just keep swamping it. So what I'm hoping to do, I'll just keep resetting it, resetting it, and hopefully the cattle will leave it alone and uh, we might get another dog. Come on, Chancy, fat boy. While I was away in BC, this fellow got huge. Look at the size of him. You got some grease across your back there, mate. Look at it. Get in the truck, useless. Right, what I've done here, so we've got a bit of cow hide from yesterday. It's starting to smell a bit. Uh, just put it in the back of the buggy. What I'll do is I'll drag it up here for about a K and then I'll drag it back down here and I'll leave it down close to these sets, not right at them. So if there's a goanna coming around, he can stay to one side and have a feed. And all I want them to do is come in here, follow the scent down. They don't even have to go to that hide. They can just hawk around the side and as they go, they might go, oh, hang on, whose scent is this? Go to have a look, got them. Right, this is a great looking spot down here, plenty of cover. Uh, I'm dragging a, a cow hide, fresh cow hide behind me. So I'm leaving a nice scent trail. If there's any dogs coming down this river or down this side creek, there's a really good chance they'll come in for a look. Shouldn't do that on the road. Dumb way to die. If you've got cattle in a paddock, usually the dogs will hang around the cattle. But this is the sort of place where we should be able to lure them in by dragging this hide behind us. I reckon I'll set up here off the base of that tree. I'll we'll probably put a little bit of fat or something hanging up there so there's a real scent to make them want to come in here. And uh, probably one or well, probably two or three traps in here. Well, the gully's a lot drier than when we were here last time. Don't go around both sides. I want to check for tracks. Brandon, come. Brandon. Okay, let's look for tracks, dogs. No, yours are on the other side. What's here? No dogs walked along here without leaving the track, eh, mate? Well, we've walked all the way around that uh, billabong and no dog tracks at all. Doesn't mean that they won't be skirting around it, but they're certainly not using it for water. Uh, so if they're coming through here, they're traveling through. So I reckon I'm better off setting up on the road near the track than going to the trouble of trying to set there because there's so much other stuff, there's ducks, There'd be probably water hens and, and uh, water rats. 
a few cattle kicking around, so it's too hard. We'll try up here. Well, the heat is just getting unbearable at the moment. The humidity, the dogs are suffering, don't you? Hey, I'll just put this last trap in. I'll head back and check the rest of the line. Right, we're working our way up to where we left the, uh, the cow head and a bit of skin in that last night. We've got two traps set here. I was hopeful, I was really hopeful we might pick up something here. It doesn't look like it. Nothing. But the rain's starting to come down, big heavy drops. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Pretty special, aren't you? You're pretty special, little girl. Yeah, you're pretty special. Yeah. Walk up. Walk up. Mossy. Mossy, come. Mossy, come. Mossy, come. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Well done. Well done. Well done. And Mossy's only seen a cow actually the last couple of days. And uh, she's just got that instinct to work. So uh, at the moment, it's just getting her command so that she'll cast out, come back, and I'll get her going left and right. And... Uh, Nice and steady. I think she's got all the makings of a, a great little working dog. What about you, Pear? Righto? Hey, come on. Out we come. Come on. Off. Off. Right. Right. And we got the kit ready to go. Coffee. We've got a few more traps. Sit down. Now we've just come up to the uh, site where we caught the first dog for the program. You know it too, don't you? Yeah, and it's been kicked out again. It's, uh, that's one of the big dilemmas with this because you, there's so many great places to put a trap in to catch a dog. So many easy spots. You'll see them marking tussocks and, and places where they always go. And you know that if you put a trap there, it'll be wrecked by the first cow that comes along. So you've got to try and find where those are and then try and be devious enough to get a trap in a place where the cattle won't wreck it, but you can draw the dog in there to get caught. Yeah, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Okay, we come into this great little gully here. Great little gully. And straight away, dog track. The cattle will be going through here as well, but it's well worth a couple of traps here. I think this is a red hot spot. Come on, Mossy, show me where. Let's uh, push any cattle we see away from here. It might give us one night, but uh, I've set two traps here, both on the left hand side. Hopefully, we can get through. What's that mossy do? Mossy look. 
So there's a lizard, is it? There's a lizard mossy move. You don't bite that, no. Aren't they magnificent? The big old black cockatoo. He's a big bird. Usually you don't get that close to him. That's another lure that's been taken. I put a bit of fat up on the tree. They've all been taken by goannas. So I'm better off going back into urine or uh, something else that won't attract those big lizards. Trail camera is still pointing in the right direction, I think. Nothing. Not even a lizard. Birds have taken half the, the fat up there. Nothing. Well, over here, a few months ago, the uh, manager was driving around here and looked down on the other side over here. And here is a litter of pups, dingo pups. Yeah, when he came around, the pups were sitting out the front here, and the bitch went over on the other side here, and she was howling and screaming at him. So he stayed back, took a little bit of video footage of the uh, of the pup. When he came down then to you know to shoot the pups, um, the bitch had already come in and got them and shifted them, they were gone. Haven't seen them, they haven't been back since. When you get here and have a look, it's a big old log that's lying in under here, big hollow log, been silted over, and that goes way back, just a perfect place to bring up a litter of pups. All right all, see you all tomorrow. Say goodnight, Granny. Granny, you're a bit of a smooch. Granny. Well, good morning. This is morning five, day six. And uh, the last two days have been pretty slow, but we're hoping things are going to change around. Check this out, eh? Is anybody spoiled around here? She feels she can just get away with anything. Possibly she can. She's going to check out every cow. Yeah, when you get one that sort of wants to bond to you, what do you do? You do the stupid thing and you let them in close again. So this tells the story. Goannas have been everywhere through here. Little goanna. So it's been totally waltzed over by the cattle. And that goanna has come right over. They've missed that trap set. Bitches you're on there, they've missed that. I don't know what's happened here. A little dead heifer in the corner. I saw it here yesterday evening and I thought I should put a trap on that. I thought no, because they'll be down here and they'll probably shift it. I wasn't sure where people would be, but being a Sunday, I think everybody's away. Well, the dogs have come in here and they've chewed the tongue out and the all the lips and that off the, the bottom jaw. Uh, they've chewed that off overnight and uh, dodged all the other traps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one in straight on the uh, nose, straight off the nose and aim for a back foot on a dog if it comes in here. But the trouble will be these, you know, the rest of the mob here will probably come and wreck anything I put in. Look at the feed you're on. Now what's happened here? Mossy, walk up Mossy, walk up Mossy, walk up Mossy, walk up Mossy. Good girl, walk up, walk up Brandon, walk up Brandon, walk up Brandon. Shh, walk up, Shh. push up, push up. Good test for a little dog. She's only been on cattle a few days now. She's only done a few 
workings on them. She's showing so much confidence. Good girl, Mossy. Good girl, Mossy. Walk up. Walk up, Brandon. Push him back. Push him back. I'm pushing back. Push him back. Push him back. Good girl. Push him back. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right, I'm just rolling into the third part of this property here now. I think I've got 10 sets on here. And uh, just as we came in, just on the neighbor's place before we got to the front gate, there's a big yellow dog down off the road. But uh, he just floated. Starting to rain, I'm predicting up to 50 millimeters today. We'll try and get as many traps checked as we can before it gets too wet. But uh, yeah, a bit disappointing because uh, to see that dog up here, I know it's a cunning dog, it's going to take a lot of catching. But uh, I thought we might have had a break, but it doesn't look like it. Well, it's so disappointing. We've checked all this line. Nothing's come back. But um, we saw that one about five k's from here, out near the main road. So they will be back and we'll be ready. Hopefully this rain won't damp dampen things down too much. It's about now you sort of wish that you'd put the roof back on the buggy. Uh, only light rain coming down, so it's not a worry. I've got my dad's old dry as a bone on. This is one that you, in a lot of his old photos, you'd see him wearing this thing when he's hauling out meat or skins. And uh, yeah, still as good as the day he bought it, almost. What do you guys reckon? Right? What do you reckon? Get a bit damp in the back and a few flies? Bossy move. What's he doing? What are you doing? Starting to get a bit wet, but we've got to get around the traps. They've got to be checked. And this is the difference I see with some of the people that are trying to operate out there as dingo trappers. That they don't really give a damn. We do. Every, tra every trap has got to be checked every day. Am I disturbing your sleep, am I? Hey, am I disturbing your sleep? Well, she's a bleak old day, but you gotta be out there. You gotta be in the game to win the game. So we're still making the best of it. So I've come down over the top of the big range, come down to where we caught the young dog there uh, three days ago now, four days ago. Now look across. We've got another dog. Two in the one trap now. Come out of there, old girl. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Brandon. Moss, come, Mossy. 
Moss. 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 The Royal Gilt. We'll give you a clean next month. Whether you need it or not. Don't give up. Another young dog. That was put back in the same spot there as we caught the dog here four days ago. We've got another one. Okay, time on the front. One dogs. We'll get out and check the rest.